Frank, what are we thinking? Landfall, 24 hours? 24, 24 to 26 hours. And then, let me tell you, then it really begins. Mm -hmm. Three days of uh, just a relentless rainfall is a possibility. Wait till you see this path. I have the latest numbers for you. Let's get to it. The eye has become a little obscured this evening, but it's back. You can see the eye of Harvey continuing now to move to the northwest. It has jogged a little bit, so that's what we're watching. Right now, still a Category 1, 85 mile an hour winds, but not, not to be diminished. It's still expected to become a Category 3 overnight, a 2, and then just before landfall tomorrow. This is 7 p.m., 125 mile an hour winds moving into the Rockport area if you follow the line of the track, and it could wobble one way or the other, but we're going to go with that right now. 115 mile an hour winds at landfall, just like Alicia back in 1983, ramped up in 30 hours, came ashore with 115 mile an hour winds. Now watch this loop. There's right around Victoria, and then the Hurricane Center just spins it Saturday and Sunday, and then finally begins to move it Monday and maybe into Tuesday. So this is the critical part of this whole thing for us because of this very slow movement. People always ask me, well, what's your favorite spaghetti model? Let me show you one, just one. This is what the National Hurricane Center is using. This is a consensus model that takes this storm right through Rockport, up to Quero, and then watch this. And this is Sunday at 6.30 in the morning. Now, it goes right back down to the south, makes a loop. This is 6 a.m. on Monday, just 24 hours later. It's just done this. This reminds me so much of Allison. It came up through Houston to Lufkin, back down and around. And then it moves to Palacios by Tuesday morning. This is 48 hours out. And then up toward the Houston area by Tuesday night. That is a very critical movement for all of this. Why? Because the storm movement into 100 will give you the inches of rain. And if this is moving at 3 to 4 miles an hour, 3 into 100 is 33, 4 into 100 is 20. That's 25 to 33 inches of rain. If it goes slower, that's where you're hearing these 40 inch amounts if it moves slower. In addition to this, we have all that goes with it. As you can imagine, we're already getting the outer rain bands here. We're going to see the rains increase to 70% chance tomorrow. Hurricane warnings as well as tropical storm warnings. We'll go over the wind field coming up, but here are the surge watches and warnings for six to 12 feet to Sargent from Sargent to Jamaica Beach, five to eight Jamaica Beach to High Island, two to four. In addition to that, as you would expect a flash flood watch until at least Monday morning. So the winds for us 30 to 60 down south. If you're around Palacios gusting to hurricane force, certainly 30 to 40 inches of rain or more. We have to put that or more. If this thing stops, do the math widespread flooding. We're going to talk more about that with our reporters in the field. The surge running 4 to 12 and with all of this comes the likelihood of water spouts, funnel clouds and tornadoes. I know I'm painting a dire picture. I'll show you the American and European models and our in-house model coming up in weather. All right, Frank, thank you. Now